Secrets women don't want men to know. Do you wonder if there are things she's not telling you or maybe something she's afraid to say? In this video, we'll uncover the secrets that women don't want men to know and how unlocking those secrets will help you achieve a better sex life and lead to more intercourse overall. We're going to talk about all sorts of secrets that women keep. Their locker talk is dirtier than yours. Women are communicators. In fact, there are some major health benefits that come from this. This means that pretty much every time they get laid, their closest friends are going to hear all about it in great and gory detail. So that bartender you went home with on Saturday night. Her friends know every little thing about your hot and heavy encounter. When women talk about sex, they dive into it, the good, the great, the bad, and the ugly. Big penises intimidate them. Think of a huge dick as a ferris wheel, it's fun to ride when the carnival is in town, but women are not trying to get on one every day. Now, if you have a massive eggplant dick, this definitely doesn't mean you have anything to worry about. I'm just saying that it's not as big of a priority as you may have been led to believe. At the end of the day, it really is about how you use it. Great sex has very little to do with the size of your penis, so whatever you're packing is perfect. Women get bored in bed faster than men. If a woman has been sleeping with the same partner in the same way for a while, chances are she is starting to get bored. Even if the sex is fantastic, when the same thing is happening night after night, women start to feel like they're in Groundhog Day. So maybe you did something with your tongue while going down on her one time, and she went crazy for it. Your instinct might be to do that every time because you know she likes it. But the thing is, if it gets repetitive, it's going to start to bore her. Plus, our bodies are changing all the time, which means she needs you to change up your style and technique each time. So be sure to try new things and spice it up regularly. She wants to fully let go. When it comes to sex, oftentimes women don't really want to be in the driver's seat. The best sex for a woman is when she can fully surrender to the moment and completely get out of her head. In order for her to truly feel like she can let go, you have to be both safe and generous. They are looking for sexual partners who put the effort in to be in tune with their bodies and need someone who isn't afraid to ask until he knows what's what so she can fully let go and enjoy the ride. Women are afraid of hurting your ego. One of the main reasons women keep these secrets from men is that they are afraid of hurting your ego. Especially when it comes to sex, they know that nothing kills the mood faster than when a man gets insecure, so this actually stops them from having conversations that they might want to. As a man, if you really want to know what's going on, it's important to open the door to that kind of communication. Make it clear that you're comfortable with yourself and that your ego won't be hurt if she tells you what she wants or what isn't working for her. By taking the lead in starting the conversation, you can signal to her that you aren't fragile, and that you're coming from a place of wanting to learn and grow, which is sexy. It is hard for many women to receive oral sex. It's no secret that oral sex feels amazing, but it's really hard for a lot of women to receive it. Women put pressure on themselves to orgasm in an appropriate amount of time. They wonder if you're okay down there or if they are taking too long. This turns into a vicious cycle where they are trying to orgasm already and then focusing so hard on trying that she can't actually orgasm. This is why it is so helpful to hear affirmations that you're enjoying it too, saying things like, take your time, I'm in no rush, or I could do this forever. These simple phrases make women feel comfortable to relax, and chances are, it'll probably make them orgasm faster. You're probably not paying enough attention to her clitoris. The clitoris has about 8,000 nerve endings, which is about twice as many nerve endings as the entire penis. And yet, it so often doesn't get the love and attention it deserves. Most women need a lot of clitoral stimulation for a vaginal orgasm. Paying attention to the clit is so important when engaging in foreplay. The little hooded bump you see is only the tip of the iceberg, 
it's connected to erectile tissue that extends into the body and all around the vaginal canal. If you're looking to warm up a woman, there's no better place to start, and many men forget about the clit once they've started having sex. The truth is, many women need clitoral stimulation to get off. Whether it's a reach around while penetrating them from behind or playing your thumb on their clit when they are on top, make sure to keep the clit in your mind during all stages of sexual activity. She wants to experiment but is afraid to tell you. Now, this one is big, especially when it comes to sex toys. Bringing a vibrator into the bedroom is basically guaranteed to put their orgasms into overdrive. So many women would love to feel a vibrator stimulate her clitoris while you're penetrating her, but they are afraid to ask for it, and they are secretly hoping you'll bring it up. Women don't want to make you feel like you aren't enough because she knows that you are enough. But women also know that a battery-operated device specifically designed for their pleasure is definitely going to take things up a notch. So please ask her if she wants to bring a toy into the bedroom. Women get in their heads too. Women are human. They have insecurities and hang-ups in the bedroom. They are worried about pleasing you or if you're having a good time. If you notice that the woman you're having sex with seems miles away, it probably isn't about you or anything you're doing. The best course of action is making space for her experience and bringing her back to the present. Sometimes being a great partner means stopping the sex and untangling what's going on, and this type of care always leads to greater sex in the future. You're probably penetrating too soon. It's no secret that women take some time to warm up. It's not as simple for us as getting an erection and being ready to go even if the woman you are with says otherwise. It takes a lot of stimulation to get their minds and bodies ready for penetrative sex. Women actually have just as much erectile tissue as men, and their vaginas should be wet and engorged before you enter. Women need to be touched and played with in order to be ready for sex, otherwise, it can be painful when you enter. The best way to make sure this isn't happening is to really tease her, touch her until she's begging you to enter her. Doesn't that sound like a win-win all around? If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.